Hi guys, Jeff Lutzeva here. Hope you're all okay today. It is Sunday and I'm looking forward to showing you exactly what I've sold today. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Jack, Jack Flips eBay. I do eBay and vintage reselling on the side of a full-time job. So if you guys want to learn exactly how to do reselling on the side of a full-time job and you're struggling of knowing how to actually do it, please follow along and I will show you exactly how to do everything. Also, if you do enjoy watching charity shop videos um, and watching videos of people going around stores, seeing if they can find money off retail items or items which are in charity shops, please follow along and I will show you that. But as you guys are probably aware, two videos back, I bought a horrendous box of £550 worth of eBay items, which were potentially dead stock from a kind man um, who lives about an hour away from me. If I'm being honest, I listed a lot of the trainers and most of the trainers have sold. Um, so today, a lot of you guys have requested for me to go through everything which I have sold and also exactly how much I sold them for and to put a price calculator in here somewhere to show you guys how much money I've actually made since buying that 550 box. So as you guys are probably aware, I did spend £550 on all the items from the gents' garage. They range from trainers, ladies' high heels, clothing, coats, all sorts of stuff. If I'm being honest, they are all okay. Um, they're not the worst. I could have had completely terrible items in there completely, but I didn't. I have had a look through a lot of the items, though, and a lot of them are probably ready to just uh, go car boot mode. Um, or, because there's 700, uh, sorry, 278 items of them, it's, is it really worth my time to go through eBay um, and list them all? Potentially, if I can get more than £3 for each of them, um, because that's how much I'd have to sell them for after fees. But we'll see. Um, that'll be on for a later date. But today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how much I've made compared to that 550 figure. So on the previous video, I did actually show you that I did sell one pair of trainers from this box, and it brought down from 550 to 535 So today... You know, we're looking pretty positive so far. Pretty positive. Bear in mind, I've still probably got 255 items in the boot of my car, which I haven't listed. If you guys are wondering what my current stock room looks like, yeah, this is the average eBay seller who does it on the side of a full-time job. If you don't have that much room at home, and that's the same as me. So all this stuff here is listed, and all this stuff here hasn't been listed. As you can probably see from the last video, I did say I listed all of my stuff. This is stuff which... I found around the house which I hadn't listed, so there's quite a bit in there which I still need to list. But since I have listed, I've made loads of sales, so I'll go through them all now. So before I actually show you exactly what I've sold, my little HR assistant, Chloe here, say hello. Hello. Is actually working out for me how much I've sold everything for and how much I'm basically taking home after fees and shipping. So I'll be going working through all of that soon. Time. Yeah, so she's working overtime, but she's coming to the gym with me today, so it's all right. You excited? Working even harder. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing which I have sold. Sold this for £2. Um, and after fees, it is £1.15. So you've always got to take into consideration fees. As you can see here, these are the trainers from the box, which um, I got from the man. So here, sold these for £14.99. But after fees and shipping, I'm actually taking home £11.92. So, yeah. Pretty good on those. These down here, Spurs football. I got these for £3 and I've sold it for 6 99 But after fees, it's actually 5 71 So some decent money on that. Probably could have got a bit more, but I just want to get them gone now. I've had these for absolutely ages. Right, next one is in my clothing box. And this one is the Chelsea top. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that the lady who actually scanned this in, she scanned it in completely wrong. And I didn't even realise until I got back to the car. She actually only charged me like 50p for this. Um, and I've sold it for 22 99 so good money as well, that is. And after fees, it's £20.01p, I believe, um, in shipping. Because some, I did some dodgy shipping with that. I, I, I charged someone uh, less, um, and it's actually charged me more. So, yeah, so £20.01 after everything so some pretty good money on that <laughs> right next one sold these for eight pound i did actually want a bit more for it but i just thought i'm just gonna get my money um small sales here we go so this is sansha boxing too i've never even heard of them these are brand new um and they also come with a bag as well so sold them for eight pound i charged 2.99 shipping um so put it over a tenner and then i've actually taken home six pound 98 so not the best but some money coming in from somewhere 
Next one is this Big Daddy keyboard. As you guys can probably remember, I actually bought this for £7 from Bernardo's shop literally the other day, um, so not long ago. Um, I've sold it for, what was it, £22.99. I've charged £3.71 shipping, um, and that's how much it's costing me. So someone's paid £3.71, and after everything, I'm actually making about £18.90, so about £11.50, but just for picking it up and making money like that, it's easy, easy. So if you guys are wondering, what do I actually ship that in? Um, I've got a big box over there, which I'll ship it in. And um, I put it in that. And on eBay, I've actually put it down as a large suitcase. So it's actually the same length and the same width, so they don't charge me extra through um, Packlink. So I just said Packlink. If you guys are wondering what that actually is, basically eBay use Packlink as like a company for people to ship through. Um, and it's like in the middle kind of company. And they're really good, to be fair. Um, they always sometimes, well, they don't always, but sometimes in the year, for private sellers and business sellers, they do like discounts on the shipping. Um, so I remember last year, um, they done like, what was it? It was like Yodel shipping. Normally two pound two 88 to ship like a normal product. And it actually, they actually charge like £2.10. So, you know, you're saving a lot of money using them. So as you guys probably wear down there, I keep all my watch straps. And I've sold a bundle of five. Um, so I do prefer when people buy just the one because I actually get £5.99 for just one. But I, send, I sell them in bundles as well. So this bundle here, I've charged £8.99. Someone offered me £7.99. So I accepted £7.99 and with the shipping £2.99. Sorry, sorry for all the numbers. <laughs> sorry for all the numbers. But after this, um, I've made £5.29. And I got all these for free. So that's a free £5.29 for me. And I've also thrown in an extra strap. So hopefully it'll give me a good review, which will make more people want to buy off me. Thank you, Chloe. Bringing me in the, what is it? Caramel latte. Lovely, thank you. So the next one is in here as well. If you guys have been watching me right from the start, I did actually pick up a Leicester City training football top, which is just here, which is actually really, really nice. Um, if Leicester City weren't so shit... Uh, sorry for any Leicester City fans on here. I'm a Man United fan, so yeah, pretty shit. Um, yeah, if they weren't, if they were more desirable, this would probably go for a lot more. It's actually quite a nice top. Um, but you know, I'm from Northampton. That's Leicester, rival rival town and city. So I'm not really gonna wear that. So I have so. So I did actually sell this for eleven pound, and after fees, I've made about nine pound fifty, and I did actually buy this for three pound. So easy money there. Right, next one is a the game fallout where are you where are you where are you? i got this um on a bundle so actually literally cost me nothing because i sold all the stuff in the bundle which um made me all my profit anyway but yeah this i've actually sold it for three pound i charged royal mail shipping which is one pound 29 but because royal mail shut and i need to deliver this today i've had to basically send it through yodel and it's cost me 288 and yeah um i've only made 65p on here but that's profit anyway so i'm not fussed the last eBay sale of the day is some Teddy plushes. I always say to myself, I should stop actually buying these, but, you know, it's worth getting them. And no, it's not the frozen one. So, it's these. Hello and hello. So, from the Sesame Street teddies. Um, I actually got these for 50p each, and they're like vintage ones. I did have them listed for £17.99, um, but someone offered me £13, so I just thought I'd accept it. But after fees, um, I've actually made around £10.50 on these. And for 50p each, that's mad money. So that is everything from eBay. So that is quite a lot on the bed over there. Um, I've actually sold. I've sold a lot on eBay over the last day. But now I'm going to show you exactly what I've sold from Vinted. This is quite a good so sell from Vinted. The items I've actually had listed on my eBay now for about £19.99, Another one's nineteen ninety nine, and another one's thirty five pound. But in total, they bought all three on a bundle for fifty six something. So I've sold them. I'm gonna get them gone. I've made money on all of them, so I'll show you exactly what they are. So once again, coming over to the shoe box from the gent the other day. Sold these part of a bundle. Sold these as part of a bundle as well. You guys are probably going to say, oh, you could probably got more money for these. But no, they've got rips in them and they're not very desirable anymore, if I'm being honest. They're not the greatest of shoes. But sold those and one more pair. The other pair are just there. So let me grab them. Yeah, this is the last pair. These are Nike Air Max as well. Um, these brand new are like 100 quid. They are quite used, um, as you can probably see. 
But I got them for £3 from a charity shop um, in Kettering, I believe, the first time I went. Um, and I've sold them all, so all three pairs for £56.94. So money made. And I'm also happy as well because I've basically managed to sell all the trainers which I've listed from that 550 bundle. I'm going to show you exactly what I package them up with now. I'm going to take them to the Yodel store. And then after that, I'm actually going to go through exactly how much I've actually sold everything for. I'm going to put how much I sold it for, so it looks like from the normal person's eye. And then how much I actually take home, which goes into my bank account, after fees and postage and everything like that. The reason why I'm doing this is because I like being real. I like showing people exactly how much you actually make rather than just being these people who go, oh, I've sold it for 100 quid. But then you don't can take into consideration the profit, how much they paid for it, everything like that. So I'm going to be going through all of that and showing you exactly today's profit margin. So this is all the items. I put them all in order from what I've gone through, like that. And then I'm going to use my thermal printer to print all the labels off. And I'll show you exactly what thermal printer I have now. So I did actually mention this in my previous video. I get this from eBay. This is a thermal printer, so you save yourself on ink. This cost me, it was, I think it was £86 something now, um, but I got a discount on it and it's really good. So I'd recommend it. If you're going to be doing a lot of parcels like I do, get one. So if you're wondering who I get my shipping supplies with, I get them with FedEx and also I get them with UPS as well. So here is my cupboard underneath my bed where I've got all my big bags I can send things off in and then I've got all my boxes here. But recently they have changed the rules. If you're trying to get free shipping supplies, which I've managed to tell people to get before, they're now not allowing people to do that. Um, because I think since my video, I do apologise, um, Tons of people have been requesting free shipping supplies and they've just been sending emails back saying they're declining it. So if you do actually want to get boxes and stuff like this, you have to actually have an account with FedEx, like I mentioned anyway, but you need to actually ship through them a couple of times so they can see money comes in and out of your account. So they're not just giving you these for free just for the sake of it. So do apologise for that, but that is the new updated rule. So if you want free shipping supplies, you're going to be saving money anyway if you just ship through FedEx sometimes. So there are all the parcels with all the labels on them. I'm sending back so you can't actually see the actual labels. But yeah, um, time to take them to the Yodel and every drop-off point. Right, got the parcels in my hand, put into the every drop-off store for store number one. Right, so that was the uh, every store. They actually know me in there because when I signed my every parcel away, my name was already in there. So he must know me. <laughs> Clothes are a bit cold. What did you get me? chocolate Oreo protein bar. Grenade, high protein, low sugar. Have this before the gym. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and take the yodel parcels, go to the gym. I'm going to show you Chloe working out if you guys are fancying that. <laughs> and then I'll go home and show you guys exactly how much I've made. Lovely. So we're now going into the yodel store with everything. There's a lot here. So let's go in. Gym session. Chloe doing her. How did you find that first session with me, Chloe? It was good. Let's do it again. Yeah? It was good. So, because we've just been in the gym, we actually haven't had anything to eat yet. It is 2.30. Man United are playing at 3.30. So, we're going to go to Aldi, get some food. We're going to make it. I'll show you what we make because we found some recipe off TikTok, which looks banging, doesn't it, Chloe? Yeah, it looks really good. Are you told them what it is? It's basically like a croissant. Inside that, you cut it open. You put egg, beans, bacon, sausage, and then um, cheese. You close it. And then you wrap the whole thing in egg, like yolk, egg, egg yolk, and then you crush hash browns up, cover the whole croissant, and then put it in the air fryer. So they look good online, but me and Chloe doing it, it'll probably turn out absolutely awful. But we'll see, we'll, we'll see. And then I'll show you exactly how much money I've made on all my parcels. So this was the food we made. It looks nothing like the TikTok video, but I'll show you the other one. So... They look alright, bit black, bit burnt. 
It tastes nice, but no, nothing like the video. So that is what it looks like. Look at that. Boy, that is, does actually look quite nice. Right, we're back. Um, as you guys probably saw from the last little bit, the food was nice, but it wasn't as planned. What did you think? <laughs> it was a bit of a flop, but it tasted nice. Tasted nice, but you know when you see these things on TikTok, Instagram reels, and all stuff like that, you think that you're gonna be able to make it look like that, but you're not. Um, but it was still really nice. But you know, on to the next. One good thing though, which has happened this afternoon, Man United have beat Coventry. Um, I'm a Man United fan. It was very embarrassing from our point of view how we managed to get them back into the game. But you know, we won into the final to Man City, where we'll probably get smacked anyway. If any of you guys watch football, please let me know who you support. Um, because, you know, I love just having a good community where it's not just about eBay, where I get to know everybody else in every other way. But now I'm going to basically go through all my results, which Chloe calculated up earlier. Um, and we're going to do a little tally. So as you guys are probably aware, I spent £550 on all the, I call them the X eBay sellers stock. Um, and... On the last video, I actually sold something which was fourteen ninety nine, so fifteen pound. Um, so that made it go down to five hundred and thirty five pound. But the last couple of days, I've sold quite a few items, and we're going to go through all of it in a minute. And I'm going to show you on the screen how much I've actually made. I was going to go through everything on the iPad here, so I'll let her go through it as she was the person who actually calculated it all. So. I worked out earlier that this week Jack has made £164.22, um, not including the fees on eBay and Vinted. I must say though, that was in actually the last two days because I've actually sold 13 items within the last two days. So earlier on in the week, I made quite a bit more um, than that because I sold quite a few, but I didn't actually have a video to record for you guys. Um, but in the last two days, I just wanted to kind of show you what I've made. Sorry. In the last two days. So. Um, so I worked out that after fees, he's actually made £146. So that means it's actually only £18.22 in fees. Which when you think about it, for 13 items, it's really not that bad. I know a lot of people in the comments are like, they don't want to get into eBay selling because of the fees and it puts them off. But it's really not that bad. And if you're selling a few things, it, it doesn't take away that much from your money. No. And to be fair, um, people go, oh, I don't want to do eBay selling because of the fees. But... It helps you pay for little things. Like, I've started to do it in a higher scale now, but Chloe does it, and yeah. she comes with me and picks up the odd thing, and she sells it on eBay and makes extra spare bit of money. It's just like a pot. I've got, like, an extra savings account that just has eBay money in it, and anything I buy, I just buy it with that. It's just a bit on the side, just have that bit of extra money, but every little helps. In total, 535 From there, as Chloe just mentioned, I have made £146. So take that off. £535, and that leaves me with £389 I still need to sell to make up for my money, which I basically, I didn't waste, but spent on unnecessary stuff which I needed. This week, I've managed to bring that down quite a bit, so we're nearly, nearly there, we're getting there. Um, I just need to continue listing, um, because that for me is a big thing. Still got lots to list, you didn't hear it from me. But I believe that's probably because I do have a full-time job. And Chloe knows I'm so busy all the time. Yeah, you don't have a spare second, do you? Like, no, ever. honestly, I don't. And me making these videos for you now is just my spare time taken up. But I, I love doing it. That is the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy Chloe working out, watching her do her <laughs> thing in the, in the gym, please throw a like, comment and subscribe in there. Also, if you do actually enjoy watching me calculate how much I actually make on eBay and go into charity shops, potentially go into car boots later on in the year. But please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Anyway, thanks guys. Once again, until next time, let's go. Let's go.